Right, here we go boys quick video update of the k24 civic uh haven't been doing too much to it um now we're just gonna get into small little detail i would have liked to have done uh now that i have a little bit of extra time because of um the swap being done the most expensive part so real quick let me uh get the car out and uh show you guys what i'm gonna do real quick All right, here we go, boys. What I'm gonna do to the Civic today is, uh, you guys see how the hybrid intake sits right there is designed to be a cold air. Um, and it does come with a velocity stack. So what I would like to do just to make it a little bit more efficient is kind of elbow it right there with a 90 so it'll face straight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the fog light hole right there. So once I cut the hole and we put the, 90 elbow is going to be facing right there if you guys can see that hole will be wide open so the velocity stack will go into effect uh, versus just having the filter like that so real quick i'll show you guys so all i did pretty much was uh purchase the elbow a three inch elbow 90 and this is made for a turbo kit same uh, material that the uh hybrid intake is made out of so adding this three inch elbow is just going to make it slightly more efficient all i need to do is get a three inch uh, piece of uh, like an intake pipe and it goes right in between here so i'm gonna show you guys real quick so um here's the 90 i'm using and then here's the intake that comes with the hybrid uh, cold air which i took off of that side and i've taken it completely off as you guys can see what it looks like without it. Swap's looking real nice and clean in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now since we're gonna finalize the intake is I am gonna add the bracket that it comes with. That way your intake's not just there hanging. And then um, I was lucky because I had a three inch uh, intake just laying around. So I'm gonna cut a piece off of it so I can connect these two. Add another, um, um, clamp like this here and then one here just to clamp everything down and then I am gonna take off the intake off the velocity stack uh, because before the way it was facing it was kind of like this so all the dirt and rocks and anything the tires kicked up the intake was gonna suck it in so now because it's gonna be facing this way um, I'll be able to take the intake off due to uh, it's not gonna be facing the tire anymore and uh, more of a straightforward uh, ram air like the velo like the velocity stack supposed to take that way it actually goes into effect so i'm gonna do that real quick and show you guys what it looks All right, like back with a little progress so this is what it looks like i've cut my three inch uh, intake pipe a little bit and then i just made it enough to where i can um, clamp both sides the uh, velocity stack side here's what it looks like without the intake so I still gotta add the clamps on this side. And then what I'll do is I'll just hook it up right here once uh, we get this side installed. So just wanted to show you guys the update. I'm gonna cut out the hole and then mount the uh, intake to the car so you guys can see it. All right, real quick, boys, here's what it's going to look like before I install it, just so you guys can get another visual. Um, it'd be super cool if somebody designed an um, intake similar to this one. That way you don't have to modify anything. It's kind of like going in as if, if um, you were using any type of radiator. It wouldn't affect your car because it's going to fall right down into the uh, stock hole where the uh, container for the windshield wiper would be. So that's the only thing you would have to remove. But other than that, it'd be uh, pretty cool. So um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and install it and then see what it looks like. All right, so here we go, boys. Got the intake installed. Got my son out here acting like he wants to help me. And uh, there it is right there. Get the elbow. Uh, cut out the fog light hole. Really hate to have to cut it. Uh, since I like to keep my cars as factory as possible. But it did come out looking real clean. 